If you purchased a Spike eBrew in a bag system, chances are you either had a sticker on your PID or some kind of card in there saying that you need to auto-tune the controller before you do your first batch of beer. In this video, I'm going to show you how it's done. Let's jump into it and take a look at how you do it. To start the auto-tune procedure, you want to fill your kettle about 75% of the way, and that is true for whatever size kettle you're using. After you do that, go ahead and turn on your element and your pump and set the pump to approximately what you would flow with your mash circulation. After that, set your temperature to 150 degrees. Once it gets within five to 10 degrees of the 150 degree mark, you wanna start the auto-tune procedure. In order to do the auto-tune procedure, press the set and right arrow at the same time. Press the up arrow three times, then the right arrow once, then the up arrow three times to get 0033 on the display. Press set. This will bring up the F00 menu. Hit up twice, and then you'll get F02, and then hit set. The screen will then read AT at the top with a no in green at the bottom. Press the up arrow once to change it from no to yes. Then press the set arrow and the right arrow at the same time. The ATU will blink on the bottom left of the screen and the auto tuning will start to take place. It can take up to an hour, but generally it doesn't take that long. Once it is in process, what it will do is it will raise the temperature up to 150 and then kill the element and fluctuate up and down a couple of times to get its reading. That's perfectly normal. Once it has completed, then your auto tune is done and you're ready to brew. I hope you found this helpful in auto tuning your e-brew in a bag system. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for more videos like this. Give us a thumbs up if you appreciated it. This has been Brian for Short Circuit of Brewers. We'll see you on that next video.